The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter is made possible by a contribution from AEG. Hello and welcome to a special unboxing and review episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad. I'm Megan the Daughter. And the reason why I say review is because we've already done three shows on uh, Valley of the Kings. Yes, but this is the premium edition from yes. AEG. So what we want to do is we want to open this up. We want to show you all the goodness. You like how I mm, work that in? Yeah. Uh, all the goodness that comes in this and... Uh, also show you a comparison between the new version and the old versions mm -hmm. because they're bigger cards. Yeah, Remember cards. The, the boxes that the old ones came in were very small. Now you have a bigger box. Uh, Which and can fit one of the boxes. You could fit all the boxes in there. You easily could. Um, but there's also something really cool that they included in this. But uh, you're going to find out when we open it yep. up. So just check it out. <laughs> You can see we've got the three versions of Valley of the Kings, which the base game, Valley of the Kings, then Last Rites, and then Afterlife. Now, if you want to know more about how the game plays, we have videos on all three of these, yes, so you can check them out. But we are only using these as a comparison because we really want to show off the Valley of the Kings Premium Edition. Now, this is from AEG, and show you the back there. This is... Um, Kind of your deluxe version, if you mm -hmm. will. So, Megan, let's just go ahead and get right to it. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Premium edition for so, your guide. Same art there that's on the uh, original. All right. So, this is player guide. Oh, wow. Suggested sets, pairs and combining sets, longer games, solitaire rules, solo player variant, and then a couple more pages for solo, card supplements. Yeah, so it says the base game, Afterlife, and then that's right. Yep. I think All I right. had this switched. I think you did too, thing. yeah. But that's pretty nice, the reference there. And look at the rule book here. So oh, you can see these are nice and big That's rule big, books. Yep. So introduction, overview, components, setup, example game, how to play, how to play, and glossary rule clarification and credits. Okay, so here are the tombs. So you can see these are nice uh, cardboard. Mm-hmm. Really things. thick. So I'm just gonna go ahead all and right. pop those all out. Ooh. These come with sleeve protectors. Yeah, so... Wow. I did know that. I did not know that. But... Um, That's a lot of sleeve protectors. So, the base game uh, could only play up to four. So now, we can play up to six. Now, you could do that with uh, combining the other decks if you wanted to. But yeah, these look nice. And look at the, the insert we it's have there. It's for each of the little slots there. So I'm going to open up the base uh, original base game and just kind of show you uh, the comparison there. So here is the um, reference card that we got with the base game. And then here's the original tomb, and then here is the new tomb. Yep. So you can see it's the same artwork, a little, just a little bit different. And of course, like I said, this is cardboard, so it looks a lot nicer. And just go with this stack of cards. So we have the Pharaoh cards here, and then uh, these dividers. are the dividers. So randomized randomizer cards, custom set five. So you can have a bunch of different custom sets. And Megan's throwing cards at me. It just kind of exploded. first time we've done a uh, video where she's actually thrown cards at me. Uh, then you have here's your unique last rights, unique premium builders, priests. So you can sort all those out so that when you uh, want to do that custom game, everything can be um, divided already. And then here's your starting cards. Like it, it tells you exactly what you're going to have. Four menials, three embalmers, two kites, and a magi. And that's for your last rites version. Yeah, last rites. And there's the base game. 
and then flip these over. You can just see these nice big cards. And then we've got two huge decks of cards. All right, so we have six unique cards that are new to this premium edition set. We have the, I thought it said Patient Cup, but it's... Patience. Fa yeah, I'm not even gonna try that. Um, we have the Alabaster Coal Jar. Do you think you get that at Kohl's? Sure. It's K-O-H-L. Cool, maybe. Oh, yeah. uh, we have the Necropolis Seal. The, uh, wow. Yeah. It, Help it, me out there, you're I, the communication major. That doesn't mean I know languages. <laughs> uh, Patropiac? One. Yeah. Sure, go with that. Uh, the Jewel Box, I hey, I can get that one. And then the Mummified Crocodile. Why would you mummify a crocodile? Uh, I don't know. Do you still... You ever uh, see a crocodile smile? We have seen crocodile I, tears? I don't know. But are you still sticking the hot poker up their nose, scrambling things about, and pulling their brains out? Could be. I don't know. You can see the backs of those cards there. And then um, we have our starting cards, which there are a bunch because we can play up to six players. So you can see there's our offering tables. And then we have our box of food. Good to have food. We have our urns. Dynamic. Take it away, urn. A little bit different. We have our shop teas. And we got a lot of those. And you'll see down at the bottom it does say starter. And you can see the back of the cards there. And then we have our other ones here. So there are the uh, Medjai. And then we have our kites. We have our embalmers. Do not put me down for mummification. Likewise. We have our menials. And there's just a bunch of those. Now we're actually getting into some of the sets. So we got our sarcophagi, our outer sarcophagi, our medium ones, our inner ones. We got our canopic jars. So these should all look very familiar mm -hmm. uh, to the original, but the, the card, they're a little different, but they're also very familiar. You got your amulets, your scarab there, yeah, and then you got your books. And you got your statues. Statue of Osiris. Nice. So I have where that deck ends off here. So we got some boats, uh, chariots, mummified cats. Mummified cats. Brain hook, there you go. There's there the you go. Ugh. Learning bandages. Uh, yeah, gonna go with that. Ring, I understand that. Roach, bracelets, necklaces, offering chapels. Antichamber. Burial chamber, slings, dagger, spear, bow, goldfish, judgment. Goddess nut, some bowls. Just got a bunch of stuff here. I cannot hold all these very well in my hand though. But yeah, brick masons, stone masons, engineers, architects, overseers, leather workers, astrologers. That artwork there is actually kind of cool. The little stars. Yeah, it is. That's cool. Merchants and scribes. Yeah, uh, so for comparison, I'm going to show you the oh, starting wow. cards we have. So you can see the art there is a little bit different. So there's our shop tees, there's our urns, there's our box of food, and then there is our offering table. So um, let me just grab those here. Megan, hold these. Yep. So you can see there's the difference, the size of the card. So it's a little bit uh, different, but it's really pretty similar. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there's our box of food. Yeah, I mean, I think the the lighting's a little bit different, maybe, but there's our urns. They look pretty similar. Your shop tees. Uh, there's our shop tees. I, I like this one better. Mm -hmm. Actually, I like all the cards in the premium one. Yeah. And they, I think they all look a little nicer there. Yep. I also had in that big deck. Um, I had set randomizers. Um, so we had a couple of those. So I like that because that's going to give you different, like, pre-made uh, games to basically use. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of those there. 
Um, and Are then, these double sided by chance? No. no, they're not. But they do say that they're set randomizers mm -hmm. on the bottom there. And then here we have the back here of like all your different Theros and all. Mamsies. Now that must be a new mode um, that I'm not familiar with. Yeah. So we got that. And then we also have your little reference cards here. So game setup and end of game. And taking a turn is on the back. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger. Of course, it kind of goes with the, the size cards. Of the box now, box. show off this really cool first player uh, marker. Yeah. Let's see. So you got Nefertiti, it looks like, or is that King Tut? I think it's Nefertiti. Maybe. Yeah. It's really cool looking. This goes right there. And then, of course, like Megan showed when she first opened that up. We have all these uh, custom sleeves yep. uh, that you're going to be able to sleeve this with. So I would say if you are a Valley of the Kings fan, and this, I mean, when Valley of the Kings first came out, this was an instant lunchtime hit mm -hmm. with my group. Uh, we played the heck out of it. And then, you know, the next set came out, you know, Last Rites or um, Afterlife. Afterlife. Um, I can't remember which one came out first. I think After Love came out first and then Last Rites. But we played the heck out of it then. Mm -hmm. And then when the third one came out, we played it a lot too. So I think if you're a really big fan of Valley Kings, pick this up. But if you still have these, these make good little travel editions. So you don't have to take the exactly. giant box with you. So these you can easily throw in your backpack and take with you. Or you can give them as gifts once you upgrade to the big box. That, that's a good idea too. Yeah. Get other people that are... Uh, you know, maybe getting into gaming, mm -hmm. trying to get their collection built up. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually going to hang on to both because uh, if I'm hosting a game day and I want to play Valley of the Kings, I'm going to go for the big premium edition because yeah. I don't have to lug it around. Um, but if I'm traveling, I can take the little ones that I have too. So definitely reasons to have both. Mm -hmm. the, the art, like I said, is very similar, but it's been upgraded. The fact that these now are tarot-sized cards, I think... It helps, you know, makes it a lot easier to read. They're really cool. Um, and the fact that you, uh, you know, this is good size print. Can I read that without my glasses? Uh, no, yeah, things are still blurry. Still but uh, because I am blind, but I think anybody else, they're going to be able to read that without any problem. Um, but no, these are very cool. Highly recommend picking this up, like I said, if mm -hmm. you're a fan of uh, Valley of the Kings, which, like I said, we are. So this is kind of a no brainer. Now you can see everything. Uh, all the cards have been sleeved. There are quite a few extras, so if the sleeves rip, you've got extras there that you can uh, replace those with. The only thing that the game is kind of lacking uh, is uh, some foam inserts here or something that kind of would keep the cards uh, from flopping all over the place um, because they're just not that tight. We did actually, when we first kind of did it, I did actually, I like pushed them all back up for it and I could fit one of the original game boxes there. But yeah, it's kind of hard to get it out once we got it in there and then I was like, yeah, I don't really like that. So if you've got something like a piece of, like a foam block or something yeah. from another game, you might want to stick it in there and that's mm -hmm. going to keep everything from uh, flopping around. I also want to point out that the cover art on the uh, uh, premium edition player guide here that is from the original game, so mm -hmm. looks really sharp. And then you have uh, the uh, artwork that's on the rule book itself is also from the second game. So, yep. like how they've reused that. Mm -hmm. So, everything fits back in the box really nice. And our buddy Tom's got his name on there. Yep. And I gotta say that because. Uh, the first time that we ever played Valley of the Kings was at Gen Con several years ago. Tom taught us. And Tom actually was the one who taught us the game. Yep. And he would, sold it to us. He would, yeah, he did sell it to he us. Sold it to us. And he told everybody that would listen to him that he was the designer of the yes. game and to sit down and play the game. He was very proud of it. So, and I mean, it's a great game. And it and is a good game. He has every right and it was, it was fun just being there with Tom. It was really cool, yeah. It's like one of those weird Gen Con memories I always think about. So, yeah. So, yeah. Things. So, like I said, we recommend getting this uh, if you uh, like Valley of the Kings and you want a, a little nicer edition this is only like 40 45 bucks I think so if you're gonna buy all three online. might as well buy this one um, Get them well the, like bigger. I said the smaller ones are good for travel yeah but if you're wanting maybe you know just a little bit bigger font you're wanting the bigger cards maybe if that's yeah. just your preference pick this one up there is room for both in your collection yes so like I said that is Valley of the Kings premium edition from AEG and we will catch you guys next time bye
If you would like to support us, you can visit patreon.com slash dadvdaughter. Like and follow us on Facebook to stay current on our show schedule, sneak peeks at future shows, and to interact with us. Thank you.